So the question is, what is magnitude? Um, you have talked about vectors or not? Um, I mean, you're going to for sure. Like... What I know about vectors is that it's an arrow in a certain direction. <laughs> okay, um, so if I have uh, an arrow like this, um, and I'm drawing it like that, um, because I want to say that, um, well, we'll say that this angle is 30 degrees, okay? Um, so you would say that um, one way to say this is you are doing, uh, you're going 30 degrees north of east. Okay, because east will say, we'll say that north is this way, and we'll say that east is this way. Okay, I, I'm just, this is one way to say this vector. Okay, um, 30 degrees north of east is a direction. Um, the magnitude uh, geometrically is just the length of the vector. Okay, so on, on the one hand I can say magnitude is just the length of the vector. Um, now, uh, I can say um, my velocity is um, 45, uh, I won't say miles per hour, meters per second, um, 30 degrees north of east. Um, I mean, that's just one way to say a vector in everyday language. When you say that, um, this is the magnitude of the vector, and this is, you call that the heading, it's like the direction. Okay. Okay, so, um, so there's that. I mean, if, so if, if I say I'm going 50 miles an hour, 30 degrees north of east, um, and that's the vector we've drawn. So this is 50 miles per hour. And then I say, okay, um, let's draw a vector going 25 miles per hour in a different direction. <laughs> whatever uh, that vector that I draw, whatever it is, I have to draw it at half the length of the green vector. Okay, so if I were to say um, 25 miles per hour in a perpendicular direction, the length would be um, half of the length. And then the perpendicular direction in this example, you might describe it as uh, 60 degrees um, south of east. This description, like north of east, south of east, and all that stuff, um, it's not common in physics books, but I'm introducing it this way because it's very easy to talk about mm -hmm. in everyday language. Yeah. Um, so, if I were to say, like, um, now the the vectors here. Um, if if you were to say like 50, 50 meters, like you can point to it now. So I, I switched to this little dot. So when you okay. point, it'll have the dot. Okay. So if it was <clears throat> like like if this mm -hmm. was let's say um, fifty meters, like if it was like fifty. Like go fifty meters, like, sh like straight, straight, fifty meters, uh, thirty degrees, uh, north of east. Then would the vector be that, f those fifty meters? Okay, so now what you're talking about is a displacement vector. Okay, um, okay. 
a displacement vector is a little awkward to talk about. Um, for example, I can say, um, I have two points on a graph. Um, here's one and here's one. Uh, now I can talk about the displacement vector between them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the displacement vector um, would look like what you're talking about. Um, and you'd find the components of the displacement vector by figuring out the differences. Yeah, I should do this. Figuring out the differences in the x coordinates and the y co coordinates. Okay, so if this point down here were something like um, so finding the slope six of the line? negative. No, the slope of the line would be analogous to oh, wait. the heading. Okay. That tells you the direction okay. you're going. Um, six negative one might be um, this lower right point, and then let's say the upper left point is something like. I don't know, 2, comma, 3. Okay? Um, I can say, what's the displacement between these two points? And the answer is, um, I go 4 down, and I go uh, 4 to the right. Okay, um, like I said, displacement vectors can be confusing to talk of because um, we use the same concept for points. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, I can say that uh, this point... Um, the point 2, 3 is itself a vector away from 0. Like, um, uh, let's do, like, uh, how would I draw some axes here? Um, there's an x-axis, and there's a y-axis. Okay? Um, how do I get to 2, comma 3? I apply the displacement vector 2, comma 3, starting at 0, 0, mm -hmm. right? And how do I get to 6, comma, negative 1? I apply the displacement vector, vector 6, comma, negative 1, starting at 0, 0, right? And then um, this last vector that I'm drawing um, completes a picture of what you would call vector addition. Um, have, you, have you ever talked about this, like where you know, draw a picture of adding this vector to this vector? And then it ends up in the middle? Um, well, no, the addition of vectors... Or, oh, you add this to the top. So you what you do, yeah, so um you can do like a is this no that doesn't work. No, there's like a there'd be a very clever way to do this. Um what I do when I want to add this vector to this vector, I do the first vector, then I do the second vector and I draw the net result. Okay, in other words, you make a triangle out of the three vectors. And that's the answer. And uh, if this thing is, you know, if this is V and this is W, then this vector Would be v plus w. is V plus W. So the answer, if you were looking for Yeah, in, and now we're just sort of randomly talking about vectors. Okay. Um, um, 
Which, is, I mean, at some point, you got to learn about vectors. Is that... I'm surprised I, it hasn't happened I, already. I just, like, everything I know about vectors is from eighth grade. Okay. <laughs> um, um, but, um,